Hey guys, Dave here in my garage, tripping over things, it's a real mess. Uh, yeah, so it is a Monday, was that Labor Day? And I'm out in my garage, I gotta pull some orders before I leave for Amsterdam. I wasn't sure if I'd have any, but I do have a couple and I wanna just get them pulled while I'm here, get them packed up uh, before I leave. Uh, all the stuff I picked, packed yesterday hasn't shipped yet because it's a holiday still, so I'm not using my normal stuff. Uh, I will probably be recording some. This video will also have like some of my trip most likely. Well, it looks like four of the items are Disney pins. So won't take too long to pull them, but let me grab some out of FL64 first. Yeah, I think it will be, uh, probably most of this video will be me traveling to Amsterdam. So I hope you enjoy the trip with me. <laughs> But this first part will be me pulling a couple of orders. And uh, yeah, we're not sure yet. Tina is planning on pulling orders while I'm gone. So that'll be good. It won't slow down my store, finally. Uh, I've been slowing down my, sto my store every couple of weeks because I keep going on these, like, trips. So it'll be nice to have a break from that. Uh, so yeah, this is what's sold. This is Dinosaur Dynasty Warrior 7 on PS3. Sold this for $8.99 plus shipping. Hold on, I'll be right back. Now, last night I actually worked with Tina and she pulled all my orders, all of them. While I was in editing a video, she pulled all the orders. Uh, she did come in for help quite a few times, but we wanted to kind of do a test run, like a little pilot run, see how it went, her pulling the orders, uh, since she's planning on doing it while I'm gone. It went pretty well. There was a couple things she couldn't figure out a package, but all in all, it went pretty good. Okay, so this is my first thing that sold out of my pin buy. Uh, it is, what is it? Good versus Evil mystery set, The Sword in the Stone. Sold for five bucks. I told you there's gonna be some $5 sales here as I sell these pins, but they sell pretty quick and I got a lot of them. So this one, Sword in the Stone also. What is the year on this? The year is, uh, doesn't say, oh, 19, no. Can't be 1963, can it? Oh, it does say 1963. I think that's like in commemoration of 1963. I can't imagine it was actually made in 1963, but who knows? This one sold for, yeah, there's no way. This one sold for $15.99 plus shipping. So that's not bad either. And then there's another thing in FL18, but it's not a pin. And then there's one more pin I gotta pull. Here it is. These pull pretty easy. Mickey Mouse, Ghost Costume, Happy Hollow, Happy, Happy, <laughs> it's a bunny. Happy Halloween 2007. This was $4.99 plus shipping. So those are gonna be really easy to ship, which is nice. But if we're keeping score, that's 10 plus 16. That's $26 back so far. Hopefully it keeps going. This is, you know, my bag full of pins and I got a bunch more that are not yet listed. Uh, that's probably half of them, I would guess. So it should be interesting. We'll see how it, how it does. It's a bit of a risk. Let me go inside and grab the other item. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not gonna be inside. It's gonna be out here in FL18. That's gonna be in FL18 once we're done listing them. But right now it was sitting in the house. So let me grab that. I just gotta climb over some junk to get to it. I found these underpants at the Goodwill. <laughs> they were $2.99 a bag. I looked them up and it turned out, I was not having any luck at the Goodwill, but then I found five pairs of these underwear for $2.99 each. I looked them up and they sell for 25 plus per bag. I think one bag sold for $19.99, but the rest sells for 25 and they sell pretty decent, pretty quick. They're from Sears. It says uh, sears.com acetate tri cut, fuller cut, elastic leg briefs. Anyways, some sort of vintage underpants. Pack of three, sells for 25 bucks, paid 2.99. I got um, five of them. So five of them for like 15 bucks. I think that's math. And then we'll sell, I think it was 16 after tax. And then we'll sell them, like I said, 25-ish each. Should bring in 120 bucks. So I sold this guy. This is a Despicable Me Build-A-Bear. Uh, who's his, what's his name? He's Kevin. And Kevin sold for 9.99 plus shipping. Good job, Kevin. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Yeah, I've been running around like a madman today. I'm trying to get everything done, ready, and organized for my trip, make sure I'm packed. I've heard horror stories about people losing their luggage in Amsterdam, and I really hope that doesn't happen, but it could. Uh, I guess there's some issues with the Schiphol Airport. I think how you, that's how you say it. But hopefully it goes well. Should be a trip, that's for sure. Stay tuned, guys, if you want to see how it goes. Hey guys, Dave here at my house in Florida, not North Carolina. I forgot where I live for a minute. Um, so as you saw in the beginning of this, I am supposed to be headed to Amsterdam right now, like literally right now, today, Tuesday, and I'm not. I'm at my house. Uh, last minute change, my trip got canceled. 
So there is still some people going from my company, but I am no longer going. You know, my ticket was fully refundable and they just, they canceled my part of the trip last minute. So I'm not going and I'm not sad. <laughs> I know you may think I'm sad, you know, international travel sounds very exciting, but I've been to Amsterdam something like nine times at this point and for this trade show, and I'm really not disappointed. I, I didn't, if you'd followed along, you knew I didn't really want to go at all. I even told my boss I didn't want to go like three times, and at the end of the day, they decided not to send me. Like I said, ticket was fully refundable, so it wasn't a big deal. I just called Delta. They gave the money back. Um, hotel, they got taken care of, all that stuff. So basically it's a win-win. The company doesn't spend as much money. I don't have to go on a trip I don't want to. It was kind of crazy though, like the feeling of relief, to be honest, when I found out, because I honestly thought I was going. My bags were packed, I was ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. Uh, wait, what's the rest of the lyrics? Uh, something to say goodbye, leaving on a jet plane. Anyways, I was ready to go, literally packed. And I was not excited. I told Tina, I said, man, I'm stressed about this. I don't like flying. I don't want to go international. Like, I'm really not into this. And then I find out I'm not going. And it was like a huge burden lifted off my shoulders. I'm actually really happy, <laughs> if you can tell. Uh, but I'm not in Amsterdam, so I'm sorry. I know some of you wanted some Amsterdam footage. I guess I could buy some on Shutterstock and just insert it here for you. I'm pleased. I'm really pleased. It also frees me up to go to North Carolina. So I've been wanting to go to North Carolina for work stuff to talk with some people at work. I was like, yeah, well, I'm going to talk to them in Amsterdam because a lot of them were going to Amsterdam. And now I'm not going to Amsterdam, so I'm not going to get that opportunity. And so I said, you know, I am going to go to North Carolina. And the benefit of that is Kevin, Commonwealth Picker, is actually doing an event, I think, next weekend, the 17th. Maybe that's two weekends from now. Uh, is that? Yeah, two weekends from now. He's got an event and he had invited me and I wasn't going to go because I was just going to be getting back from Amsterdam on like the 14th or 15th and so I was like nah dude I can't I can't go to an event in North Carolina right after this I'm gonna be too burnt out and tired and now that I'm not going to Amsterdam I feel like I can go no problem so I will probably be going to Kevin's little event I think his event it's like a, a yard sale at his uncle's house Uncle Mark's garage sale but I'll probably go to that and hang out up there so if you guys are going to that I'll see you then but yeah, exciting times, exciting times. I'm at home, I got orders to pull. Like I said, I think we did five minutes the other day on my phone of me pulling as I was about to, you know, jet set away, but now I'm here and now I'm gonna pull some orders. You know, it was crazy though, cause and I talked about this on the podcast a little bit. I go over to my mom's house for dinner last night and I tell her, hey, I'm not going. She's like, oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're not going. I'm like, why? She's like, I thought your plane was gonna crash. <laughs> so thank you, mom. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm just so happy you're here. And then my sister comes over for dinner as well. And she's like, she's like, Dave, I really don't know if you should go to Amsterdam. I said, I'm not, they canceled my trip. And she's like, are you serious? Yes, that's so awesome. I've been up all night thinking that you were gonna get in a car, a plane accident. My family is so supportive, guys, <laughs> so supportive. Ah. Can you imagine if I was still planning on going and they all told me this? That would really add to my anxiety. Like it's not bad enough already. Uh, okay, so I think this is what's sold. Granny panties uh, that I got at Goodwill. These are brand new sealed, still in the package. Uh, they're fundamentals. So this is kind of a bolo, acetate polyester underpants. I'll show them to you. Uh, I went to the Goodwill with Callie and Anna and you know, I saw these brand new sealed underwear that looked old and it said Sears on the back. And I was like, man, I don't even know if Sears is in business anymore. So I'm gonna grab them at $2.99, sold them for $22.99 plus shipping. And I actually got five pairs or five packs of three. So what is that, 15 pairs of underwear. Uh, but yeah, if I sell them for 22 bucks a piece, I'll do real well. But yeah, very cool. It's very cool that I'm here. Uh, I hope you guys aren't too disappointed that you won't get to see the Amsterdam trip, but you know, at least now you get to watch me pull orders, which is always fun. Uh, okay, so this item, I got a message. This is a D Moose No More Bull Ab Strap. And I don't, it's for some, I think it's for a home gym. Helps you get your abs back. And I sold that for $16 plus shipping. It is going all the way to Puerto Rico. And the buyer did ask me to give them a tracking number once I sent it, which to be honest, I probably would have done regardless. So anyways. $16. But I think I'm gonna wrap this trip around a weekend when I go up to North Carolina. Uh, where is this? Rut row. Um, that's not good. Huh, I, uh, oh, here it is, ha <laughs> in this cup. I only have two knives left from the Highway 127. This Spyderco one, which maybe I need to lower the price on, I think I have it listed for like 100. And this, uh, what is it called? Well, I sold it, Smith & Wesson, this is a, a blade plus a razor so you can like shave with it. I'll show you like a straight edge razor. See that? That's like 
to shave your beard. Uh, and the Smith & Wesson sold for $23.90 plus shipping. $13.90. There's Tina. Say hi, Tina. Hi. Are you excited you don't have to ship? Yes. <laughs> she said yes. She's excited she doesn't have to ship. She was not I looking forward to that. I would do it. Okay. Well, and she did a whole entire uh, shipping section. Well, like she shipped a whole bunch of orders for me. What was it Sunday night? Mm -hmm. And it went pretty well. I only had to pack them all for you. <laughs> I'm trolling. <laughs> no, it went good. It went good. She did pretty well. Um, but yeah, we sold some more pins and these are gonna be hard to find, I feel. Because I've got just like a bag full of them. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert. Uh, after listing all the pins, I think me and Tina did the math and we came to a total of $650 in listings. And there's like six or so we haven't listed yet because we haven't found them. But yeah, 650 bucks. That's pretty good. Okay, I found one. Walt Disney's Bambi Friend Owl Disney pin. This one sold for $5 plus shipping. Got a couple more to find here. They're a little tricky to find, and a lot of them did list for between $5 and $10. So, I mean, I guess that's like what I walked away with learning, because this is like a, a great way to learn. Just buy a big batch of something and you learn from it. And what we learned is that a lot of these are between $5 and $10, but just like with a DVD, if you can get them for a good price, then you can make a decent profit. There are exceptions to the rule. This Iron Man pin right here, if I can show it to you, eh, hit it right there. That one sells for $69.99. It's got some sold comps in that range. So you just never know. Some are worth more than others. We sold this right here. This is like some weird looking cat thing. It's called a Pusheen white unicorn enamel pin sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Got it. Okay. And then this one is Bambi and Feline, $4.99 plus shipping. And then there's one more and then we'll move past the pins. I almost feel like the better way to do this was to put these all on like a chalk uh, cork board and then just pull them off when they sell. That's how I should do it. Maybe I will do that. Ah, uh, yeah. So this right here is Thumper, I believe from also from Bambi. Uh, sold him for $15, $14.99 plus shipping. So that's the best one of the day for sure. All right, let me put all these pins back and then we'll move past the pins segment. I wonder if I have a cork board. That would be a perfect solution. I'd be able to pull them so fast that way. Okay, so FL7, we sold something. Uh, right here, actually. Little tiny Super Grover. Uh, he's six inches and he's $6.99 plus shipping. Actually, it looks like all, well, all except for the Pusheen Unicorn. All those other items went to Des uh, in Illinois. So thank you, Des, for your order. This is a big multi-item order. I honestly think I can still ship it first class. So you probably overpaid for shipping at $18. Yeah, I'm like just so... It feels weird. It feels weird that I'm here and not on an airplane, but whatever. Um, it's good. It's going to help me relax a little bit. I didn't even know what to do with myself like at work today because I, I did so much to get ahead of the... Um, ahead of the curve as far as like catching up. And on my day job, I got all my emails done, got all my Slack messages done. I had kind of finished all the open projects I was working on so that I could go to Amsterdam and not be stressed about all the work I left behind. And I start working this morning, I'm like, what should I work on? <laughs> I was like kind of, kind of confused. Uh, luckily, you know, there's never any lack of work at my day job. So I found plenty to do. All right, so speaking of Swayze, Sold his uh, beautiful Dirty Dancing DVD. I've never seen this movie, guys. I know, you must be angry. I've never seen Dirty Dancing. Is it worth watching this many years later? Uh, sold it for five bucks plus shipping. A lot of $5 sales today, nothing nothing amazing. It's only $144, although when I pulled the other day, or this, what, yesterday morning as I was trying to pack and stuff, I think I pulled another 145 so it's really like 300 in orders in the last two days. And I did list some good stuff today um, before I started recording, not a bunch. I think I listed four or maybe five, but a lot of them were like 20 bucks plus. So I did pretty well today anyways. I mean, I don't have much to say. I'm just like, my brain is still kind of broken that I'm here, but I'm here. Uh, I should be able to do a recording on the normal schedule. So what's that? Like Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I release one Monday. I'll have one tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And I should be able to record one Friday. So I'm back guys. Hey, <laughs> did you miss me as I was gone? Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.